Why Chaska? Hi, my name is Lisa Oberski and I'm the president of the Chaska Historical Society. This year, summer of 2020, we have the exhibit called Why Chaska? Um, you might be wondering, well, why would we do a display like this? For this, we wanted to make, make sure or see what made Chaska inviting for the many people who have chosen to live here over time. We were also hoping to find out if the reasons that people come to Chaska have changed or whether there are some commonalities among the various time frames we addressed. How we chose the various time frames addressed in the exhibit were we decided to focus on our energies at the times of growth in Chaska's history. If you look at this graph, it shows you how Chaska's growth started in the mid 1800s and then increased to about 2000 by about 1880 and then stayed there for about 100 years. It was in the late 1950s, early 60s, that the population started to grow. And from then on out, it has not waned. So what we noticed were the following groups of time periods, or general time periods that we decided to concentrate on. One was to 1851, which was the Native American communities. Then 1851 to the 1880s, and that would be the early pioneers. There was that big gap that I mentioned from about 18, 1890 to 1950, when Chaska's population remained at about 2,000 individuals. And then starting in 1960, early 70s, we had Jonathan. And then the late 1980s to 2020, the more recent arrivals. What we attempted to do for each of the time periods was answer the question, why Chaska? Who came here? What was here that made it desirable to live here? What did people bring with them to survive? And what was here already that made it possible for them to survive? We also wanted to look at whether or how those answers may have changed over time. What this series of videos will cover are these time periods and questions. You'll be introduced to the original peoples of Chaska, the mid-woodland period natives and their possible descendants, the Dakota. That video will be followed by several videos on the early pioneers, including stories of the journeys of a number of Chaska pioneers, information on what some settlers physically brought with them as well as spotlighting a few areas of skills they came with as means of surviving in the new land. From pioneer days, we will jump 100 years to the next surge in Chaska's population, the beginnings of Jonathan in Chaska, looking at what some of the original members of the Jonathan community were seeking in this new town phenomenon. Make sure you check out the promotional video that advertised this idyllic concept. And then we get to the continual growth between the 1980s to 2020. Listen to the stories of those who made Chaska their home during this time, as the growth of the Twin Cities metro area both made Chaska more accessible to those wanting that small town community and threatened that same small town community way of life that many were seeking. Hear what people sought in the 1980s, 1990s, and 2000s, and hear the experiences of some of those who were putting down roots from across the Twin Cities, across the state, across the United States, and from across the world. Join us on this adventure as we attempt to answer the question, why Chaska?